When you were like playing rugby then yeah. as a kid, you know, those stories you were saying, did you have a clear kind of rugby goal or big dream? What was, what was the dream at that age? When I was seven or eight years old, I wrote down all my goals. <laughs> I know, at that age, like, right, I need to play for England. I need to be England captain. I just needed to you do... You were writing these goals yeah, down. Yeah, I, I, do, I needed to do everything. On the one hand, I had this immense passion for the game. On the other hand, I had this incredible sort of sense to be the best, the first and the only. Yeah. So the best at everything, the first one to do everything. Were to... you, though, at that age? Because sometimes sort of great sportsmen are, like, never the best when they're, you know, growing up, and that sort of gives them the fight. I mean, when you were seven, were you, like, fly, yeah. fly half in your team, or...? Yeah, I, every game I had to be the best. I put yeah. so much into every game. Part were of that... you small, though? Were you... Yeah, I was small, yeah. So was that tough then? No, it was part of the, it was part of the kind of challenge. almost like the best and the first thing was being yeah. like, I'm, I'm even better because I'm small and I can yeah. do it. No, my brother was bigger and he, uh, and we had a but he, much different temperament, you know, kind of a bit more relaxed, uh, much funnier than me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't difficult. <laughs> much less serious. <laughs> much less serious, <laughs> less intense. He, sadly, he wasn't available, no. was he? <laughs> <laughs> but he, but, uh, but similarly, we, 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 we're obviously very, very close and we speak a lot. And, and he wanted more of what I had and I wanted more of what he had. But we played in the same teams and we hugely competitive and those sort of side of things. But I wrote my goals down because I had to and I wanted to at the same time. That was a relationship I had. I put yeah. so much into every game. Tackle, play when you're injured, play three games a week, go and train for six hours. It went from I want to do this to I need to do it. Almost obsessive, really. At, it's hugely at a obsessive. Young age. It's hugely obsessive. Was, it, was that healthy, do you think? Because you use the um, words, I needed to be captain, yeah, I needed it was, to win. It, was, it wasn't choice, it was compulsion. And that's where it started, all the stress and the obsession kicked in. And then yeah. it's, it's a case of doing this right, mm. got to get this right, and all your the sense of you disappears. Yeah. Okay, so we've reached the edge of this drop off. It is a long way down. The thing is about doing abseils like this, the most important thing is what you're tying off to. Maybe even get a rope around uh, one of these rocks. Is that 50 metres down, is it? See, I know what 50 metres look like because I immediately go to a rugby field and how far a 50 metre kick is, I'm like, I can measure that perfectly. It's a fairly big kick. Here you go, your third knot of the day. All right. Bowling around this. Here we go, let you tie this one. And then you can truly say, <sighs> our lives are in your hands. All right. OK, so loop, loop in that one. Yeah. Through. Rabbit out the hole. Yeah. Round that way. Round the back. Back through there. Yeah. OK, good. I'm going to go first on this, and you yeah. can see exactly how I'm doing it. How much, of a, how much of a test do you give that? I know you just gave it a bit of a yank. Was that enough to be like, yeah, that'll do? It's going to be fine. And nice. that rock's not going to move. The key with this, nice wide stance. Yep. This is going to be your break hand in yep. here. You just let it slowly through your hand. Never take your hand off that. Okay. Yeah? And try and trust it to lean back. Try and stay too upright as you go over the edge. Slide, hit your face. Yeah. So trust the system, trust the rope, trust the rock, lean back, nice wide start. Okay, you want to do the honors? <laughs> the chuck. Big throw. All the special moments of life come from this feeling right now. Just just about to do something challenging. Like games used to be about letting it just kind of build up and that's the buzz I like. Is this for you a bit of a kick in front of the post? Is it like yeah done this or is there still a sense of the game is never getting complacent and just assuming it's all going to go right because then clipping the wrong thing and your rank is no good and yeah. as you know in the wild you only get it wrong once yeah. you know. <laughs> right. But um, if I was doing a Johnny Wilkinson with this this would be my point of like yeah, hands together. <laughs> You know, I would be right. I'll be focusing. I'll be giving it the old Johnny yeah. Wiggle. You know. <laughs> you know, it's a long way down, no doubt. And if you're a little bit nervous of heights, he's going to have fear, but he's a master dealing with pressure, and uh, he'll be fine. Yeah! 
Ready? Ready? Yeah, okay. Right, so. What am I doing? I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to know this. So, holding on with this right hand, wide stance, lean back. Just make sure I don't let go of this and just let it feed through. I feel plenty of friction on that. Well done, looking good. Nice wide stance, great. Have a little look down, go on. Jesus. Great job, Johnny. Great job. Sweet. Like a pro. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, well done. You smashed it. Awesome. Terra firma. <sighs> That's really cool. I didn't realise it was that high. <laughs> I looked down, I thought I might be there, and I was like, I'm not even halfway. <laughs> Brilliant. You should feel proud of yourself after. <laughs> Did I enjoy it? Yeah, I did. That's it, John. I mean, I, I kind of, I, I wouldn't matter if I, if I kind of was all over the place. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just, just fun.